Now I'll go back to more Paper Mario. Last time we started, well, last time all the Yoshis started running like heck. All the Yoshi kids got away from their babysitter, Sushi. Don't judge. <laughs> and thus, uh, it's up to Mario, and now Sushi is our next party member. That's another thing I should point out. But it's up to Mario and Sushi to save the day. Um, I didn't need to get the last power bounce, like, fought. I whittled them down enough as is. Flop. It's actually funny, because it makes me think of Magikarp. So Magikarp doesn't do anything, but his soul kind of just flops around all the time. Um, Magikarp. Best Pokemon, according to a lot of people. I've actually trained Magikarps. Um, in the old gens, it's a nightmare trying to have a Magikarp. Oh yeah, this is an enemy we haven't shown off, but I want to show it off. This is a... Yes, <laughs> this is a heart plant. This is a heart plant. There are heart plants as well. Um, I should probably point that out. This can frequently restore your HP, you'll be in trouble fast. Yeah, this is why you don't want to touch strange plants in the jungle. Um, but there are plants that will help you, but it's like, it's kind of 50 50, because unless you have it memorized, how the heck are you going to know? Um, Okay, I got poison, so that's bad. Your okay, HP will drain every turn. Uh, Merle's uh, spell will only block attack damage, not actually poison. So status effects will still go through even if you technically take no damage from it. It's kind of weird. You heal at the end of each turn, so it's not like Pokemon and Final Fantasy, where you have to worry about it. I think I said Final Fantasy, actually. <laughs> not Fantasy. Um, hit this, extend it. Blah. And that's Raphael with Raven statue. Um, gee, I wonder if he's gonna show up. I'm saying that sarcastically, because I, I know if he's gonna show up or not. This guy's a jerk. Um, let's see why, but, um, pair carry, uh, actually I could just want pet, actually, what am I thinking? This is why you want the quick change badge, <laughs> and get super early, uh, press A repeatedly, can do, uh, that, done. Now, the camera, and I'll finish lock, one. <laughs> Time to save and um, what else is new? Like, I've been rewatching. I don't talk about, like, my real life very much, but I talk about gaming stuff a lot. I noticed. Um, it's because I. F oh! Help me! I totally forgot about this kid. Um. We're gonna be a jerk and get a first strike. <laughs> or miss entirely. Okay, this is a fixed event, so you can't get a first strike. That's nice, the dev devs. Um. To be fair, we're gonna fight a lot of these guys, so I'm not sure if I actually wanna, like, just do this. <laughs> and they lived anyway. Um, Mario, and... These guys kinda hurt, so I'm gonna take out one, hopefully, here. Uh, oh, shoot, they're a lot stronger than I remember them. Uh, thank goodness I blocked that. Tap, tap. Uh, okay, here's what the problem. In, Mar in I think, Clouds Your Door, they have... 8 HP, I want to say. Here they have 12. That's kind of a lot. Um, kind of a lot. Uh, <laughs> well, we can take out this guy at least. Um, yeah, we don't need a quick camera. Uh, she's going to get an attack anyway, so might as well save the FP. I have a hardest time dodging that, a uh, uh, blocking that. Uh, it's not any better in uh, that's your Tori, if you're wondering. Uh, but I don't talk about my outside gaming life very much, uh, just because I don't think anyone cares at this point. But um, I'm just school stuff mostly outside this, uh, because it's just the first week of school for me. I'm just recording because I have no homework. <laughs> 
no complaints, but I'm probably gonna be super super freaked out by the end of this quarter. Not gonna lie. Calculus PTSD is a thing. Uh, actually, no, it's not a thing, but kind of is a thing. That made no sense. Um, but seriously, I still have like weird dreams about math classes, like old math classes. Um, Actually, I'm doing pretty okay in the, the current one. I understand everything after enough explanations from the teacher. See? The most exciting thing in school so far was like that traffic was backed up because of like President of China visiting Seattle. <laughs> um, thanks, President China, for making the commute a nightmare. Um, What's the matter? How did the Yoshis know who Mario is, but Sushi doesn't? I don't even know. So that's all the Yoshi kids. Thumbs up. Um, so if we hit this, it will make a bridge and a shortcut. That's good, because I kind of got lost <laughs> last time. So we can safely go back to... Wow, that was a lot shorter than I remember being. So what I want to do is heal up, because I kind of got beat up and have no, no star power. Oh, and this is one of the jerkiest things. Everything is paid in Thousand Year Door. So I played this, I played Mount Warrior. It's like, oh my gosh, this is so nice, everything is free. Huh. If you play them in the other order, um, you might be a little bit thrown off by the fact that yeah, inns and heart blocks are actually paid. And it scales depending on what areas you're in. Lovely. I must thank you, you have saved the children of the village. I don't know why voice I gave them 10 minutes ago. <laughs> um, come this way. I thought it was somewhere around here. Oh yes, I found here though, sick, please. Uh, okay. Okay, whenever events beyond our control look- This is weird to me. Uh, I'll explain in a moment. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. We saw the Raphael statue, so... I know exactly where to go. I'm sure you'll find the path. It'll do puzzle solving! Wait, wait over just a minute. Why in the world would you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? This body. Fried sushi. No, sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, I don't eat fish. I think fish is gross. Um, I mean, sushi is married, by the way. So, <laughs> fun fact. I think she's even a grandma. <laughs> it's revealed later on in the game. Spoiler. It's not a spoiler because it's like a super side questy. It's not even a side quest, it's an easter egg. Um, but yeah, soon she's older than she looks. She looks just like a real cheap sheep, so you wouldn't be able to tell. So this little shortcut we made last time, we go this way, and... Um, what bothers me about this is, how come the ravens are nice in this game? Because, you know, the ravens kind of trying to kill Yoshi in uh, Yoshi's Island. What gives? Not judging, I mean, not complaining, because, you know, fear thinks it's battle in this game, but still. These look. I always wonder if these were hints at stuff, but I, I apparently not. Jade Raven and the statue, and. I can't remember if this is funny or not, or is this serious? Okay, that's serious. Um, must be a thousand door that I'm thinking of. Something funny happens when you like put in an item. So you can do this. And we got an egg. I'm gonna keep the egg. We don't need that many sheepy sleep. Sheepy sleep? Sleepy sheep. Um, I like. Uh, I should point out to you, but that shy guy was totally headbanging just now. <laughs> um. I don't know why that even amuses me so much, but it does. Um, power bomb! Kablam! 
Okay. Rocket. Rocket, shy guy. Um. Anyway, like, this V that I was talking last episode, like, I like the system, I just think it. Uh, so, this treatment of it is garbage. Um. The fact that Sony kind of acts like it doesn't even exist is just horrible. Um, and it's true, I think Sony is acting like it just like it completely doesn't exist. And it's frustrating that it's all other people right now. Like Namco is making tons of games for Vita. Indies are making tons of games for Vita. Like even Idea Factory, as credit as most of their games are, are making tons of Vita games. I think Amnesia is really good though. Amnesia memory, it's not Dark Descent. <laughs> to clarify. Uh, I saw the anime and thought it was. I liked it at first, but then as. It's one of those things where I saw it and it's like, hey, that was pretty cool. And then as like, as I started thinking about it, it's like, wow, actually, that was complete garbage. <laughs> um, Basically, Amnesia Memories is where it had an anime where the main character then is the heroine because she has no name, and the anime she has no name is basically just a doormat the entire time. Um, and it's not a fun show to watch because she's such a doormat, and she doesn't even talk, by the way, in the series, which is also an obnoxious, and she doesn't even barely speak. It's like people choke, it's the easiest dubbing role ever because she doesn't hardly say anything. Um, the game, because it's a game, it works better. Silent protagonists don't work outside of games, if you ask me. Because with silent protagonists, you can put yourself into the character. You can't do that in an anime, or a movie, or whatever. Um, that's why I don't think a Zelda movie would keep that aspect. I think Link should be a quiet character, but not silent. As they do a movie. Like, have him be just... Just speak when he needs to, and that's it. So I'm on this spine here, and that opens the path. Other stuff has... I think that's a, one of them has a star piece, if I'm not mistaken. So I'd kind of like to get that one, to be honest. We're just getting a lot of fuzzies right now. Um, <laughs> uh, Science Gate, I hear, is really good, but... Um, I haven't gone around to... Well, frankly, download games on Vita are the worst, because they take forever to download. And I didn't... Oh, that was the right move. Um, and also, I have had, like, save corruption issues repeatedly, so that also doesn't help. Like, for example, Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment, which was my other reason for getting the Vita, because I liked the series. Um, Gravity Rush was the main reason. The other was just a little bonus. Um, I've had... I, I gave up because it literally corrupted... My save corrupted four times, I think, four or five times. And it's a long game, you have to go through like the last 25 floors of Aincrad, so it's not exactly a short game. Um, Aincrad is like the 100 floor dungeon in the series that the main characters get trapped in Sword Art Online. So the goal is to get to the 100th floor to clear the game, and thus once Hundred floors fit beaten, then everyone is let go of the game because it's VR and all that. But it's set after the anime in like a what if scenario if like beating the floor 75 boss didn't glitch out everything and cause the game to just end then. It's actually one of my things about issues with SAO, which is what everyone calls it by the way. Um, Everyone loves the first season of SAO, but if you think about it, it's kind of crap, actually. <laughs> um, for example, the ending, well, sad and kind of touching, is basically, uh, well, that happened. <laughs> there is no explanation for the ending. Um, it's basically like... Okay, spoilers for Sword Art Online incoming. Um, Basically, at the end of the game, at, there's a glitch that causes the game to end early. And also, the main character also dies. The two main characters, Kyoto and Asuna, actually die. Like, flat out die. Um, and they don't exactly explain how they survive, because the way it works is if you die in the game, you die in real life. So, the fact that they die, and right as they're being Right as the game ends, somehow they live, and they don't ever explain it. 
So that's a huge blow! Uh, and then everyone who gushes about Season 1 seems to be ignoring. Um, and I like Season 1 up until that point. I just think that was a little bit of Deus Ex Machina. Um, this is a white magic group by Chi. I wonder if we'll be seeing other magic group. Oh, yeah, we already did. Oh, max power 11. I th he is stronger than I thought he was. Um, I thought he only had 7 because I'm taking up Thousand Year Door again. So I guess we don't have to hold back anymore. Um, he heals, so I'm gonna fight him first. Um, will him down. Uh, well, that sucked. Well, at least Marley is helping us. But uh, I feel like everyone overlooks to how like non-satisfactory the ending is. <laughs> Basically, a we survived somehow. Which is just, in my opinion, the worst thing you can do in a TV show or movie. I survived somehow, because that is literally the ending of the first season. Or the first arc, actually. Because the first season is actually multiple arcs. Um, it is the, uh, the fairy dance arc, uh, which has a lot of crud in it as well. <laughs> but at least it's all like logically thought out crud, so I almost don't... I mean, I don't like the second arc, to be honest, that much. I don't think it's as horrible as people say either, because to be honest, I don't think SEO was that good of a show originally in the first place. I think it was a fluke that ended up being so popular. Um, and this is coming from somebody who actually does generally like the series. The second arc is kind of rubbish, but at least it, they don't pull as much like... No way they do. There's one moment where it's like, well that happened, and don't question it. And they don't like, you know, hang a lantern on it as they say, which is like pointing out how they're like plot hole and making it, you know, seem less bad by just making it super obvious that's a stupid plot hole. But, um, they just take it, they take themselves so seriously that, um, yeah, it's kind of bothering me. Like, I was just talking to someone earlier about Doctor Who Season 9, which debuted last week. Uh, this is being recorded in September, but there was a scene with the character the Master, or, or Missy, who basically who died last season and died several seasons previously. Uh, I think died in some of the old seasons, like the old like series as well. But basically, they one of the most popular lines from the premiere last week was like, Not dead, big surprise. And people like that because it is hilarious how they just hang a lantern on the fact that, you know, this character keeps dying and coming back and, like, don't even worry. <laughs> Basically, like, don't even worry about it at this point. Um, this restores your HP. That is really helpful. And because we haven't actually equipped any more badges in a long time, let's do that. Um, I actually kind of want Happy Heart. Because uh, this area can be a little bit brutal. I don't know if Quake Hammer is really good because um, I think we might want uh, something else. No, no, um, we do want something else. Drop speed spin because it's a pretty tight corridor -y area. We want Hammer Throw on now so I don't forget. And trust me, I will forget because I have the memory of someone who has no memory. <laughs> okay, that was awkwardly worried. But like, SAO has so many plot holes that I can't look past them most of the time. Like, that's why my favorite arc is Mother's Rosario, which I'm pretty sure it's a type of rosary. Because <laughs> I mentioned rosaries in the story arc. Was it titled story arc is Mother's Rosario? But I felt like that had the fewest plot holes of anything in story arc online. Not that it's saying a whole lot, <laughs> but I felt like it was the most cohesive arc. Um, Oh, so you're Mario, I see. Gotcha that. Why is he talking to me like that? Yeah. Okay, so the star was told that he was coming. This is funny because you fight him in the moon. On the moon, you're silent. Oh, come on. So the, the, the ravens will help out. But okay, back to SAO. Um. Phantom Bullet is the third arc, which is the start of the second season, SAO 2. Um, 
I like the new character. Um, wasn't so crazy about the arc as a whole. <laughs> um, the whole Darth Vader type character just was a little bit cheesy, I think. And all the sci fi. I mean, it felt promising, but uh, the murder mystery, and I actually saw spoilers, that's part of the problem. And when your story arc is built around a murder mystery, then that's kind of a big deal. Um, Caliber is just a three episode throwaway story anyway, so I don't have any issues with it because it's just like a side s In the novels, it was a side story originally, so I don't have any issues. A lot of people hated Caliber, but I, I thought it was. It was a lot, you know, sillier, which, you know, for a side story, I don't have an issue with that. There's a shortcut back to the main area. This is just a whole lot of cutscenes, so this is gonna run a little long. Aye aye, alright, is everyone ready? Now Ravens, get to work! Oh, they're working on the uh, way across to the volcano. Um, yeah, I felt like Mother's Rosario, even though the stakes were a lot lower. It was more character driven, which I actually prefer. Like, I can't get online. Or Phantom Bullet, actually, is the arc name. Pan uh, I can't get online's name of the game in the story arc. But, um, I felt like that was more story driven. But uh, the story ended up feeling a little bit flat in the end, anyway. <laughs> um,. I felt a lot more pandering too, for a show that's already pretty pandering. Um, well, Maverick charging in the volcano, he's bold, I'll give him that. Bold and certifiably nuts. <laughs> this is the Ultra Stone, use it to Ultra Rank 1 of your party members. That's an Ultra Stone I found in- I found it a long time ago in the depths of this jungle. How do you have the stone when you find a super block? You can upgrade one of your party members from Super Rank to Ultra Rank. So, uh, should we take advantage of it is the question. Or should we check on? I kind of feel like we should just, you know, take advantage of it now. So next time we will be making a little detour to Forever Forest and Blue Mansion.